everyone, it's me, Abby here, and today I'm going to do a, another video. So, um, I've been watching the Wet Queen on the telly, it's based on Philippa Gregory's books, and Philippa Gregory is my favourite author, she's amazing. Um, the Wet Queen is based on the story of Liz Woodville, and I am reading at the minute, as well as watching the White Queen, which the book I've already read to that. I am also reading um, Lady of the Rivers. I'm rereading it because I've, all my books are for my holiday in the week, so I've got to reread the books I've got. So, um, um, I got inside to do this video because the Lady of the Rivers is based on the story of her mother, Jaquetta. Um, and between Jaquetta and her husband, Richard, they had. 14 kids, 13 of which survived past infancy, which was really good back in those days. Um, for the mothers to survive 14 pregnancies alone was phenomenal, and then for 13 of them to survive past infancy was even better. So um, I'm going to do this video, I am going to say the name and then the title and then what the name means. So I'm going to start off with Jaquetta of Luxembourg. Jaquetta is the mum of the family. She is a French, it's a French name meaning supplementer. Next I am, is the dad which is Richard and he is the first Earl of Rivers. Richard is a German name meaning dominant ruler. Um, next is the eldest daughter. I don't know their children, so it is Elizabeth, Queen of England. She's not Elizabeth I or Elizabeth II because she married into the royal family. She doesn't count in the official line like the others where you get them adding on the numbers to the name. So, and Elizabeth is a Hebrew name meaning pledged to God. Next is Lewis. Lewis is the only one who did not survive infancy, so he does not have a title. And Lewis is an English name meaning renowned warrior. Next is Anne. Anne was Viscountess of Brochier, um, which and and is a French name meaning grace. Um, next is Anthony. Anthony was the second Earl of Rivers, and Anthony is a Latin name meaning priceless one. Um, then we go to Mary, who was Countess of Pembroke, and um, Mary is a Hebrew name meaning bitter. It's not very good on that. Um, next is Jaquetta, who was Lady Strange, which I know is the strange, but yeah. And again, Jaquetta is a French name meaning supplementer. Then was Sir John. Sir John, um, John is a Hebrew name meaning God is gracious. Then is Richard again. Um, Richard, their son, was the third Earl of Rivers. And Richard again is a German name meaning dominant ruler. Next is Martha, who was Lady Bromley. Martha is an um, Arama Aramaic um, name meaning lady. Sorry, I looked that up and I forgot a bit how to pronounce it then. Um, so, on to Eleanor. Eleanor was Lady Grey. Eleanor's an English name meaning shining light. Like that one, me and my dad. Um, then there's Lionel, who was Bishop of Salisbury. Um, Lionel is a Latin name meaning young lion, if you did not guess that by having a lion on the front of it. Then we are on to Margaret, who was Countess of Arundel, and um, that's a cat. I mean, Margaret is a good name meaning pearl. Then we're on to the last boy, Sir Edward. Edward is a English name meaning wealthy guardian. Finally, the youngest child was Catherine. Catherine was Duchess of Buckingham and Bedford because she married a few times, I think, in total. I can't remember exactly. Um, but Catherine is a Greek name meaning pure. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that? Um, I've got the dogs in here and they should have be sense, they can find basically. Don't you? That, that's 
hopefully just destroy the pencil. Um, but yeah, so my favourite out of them names for the girl is Jaquetta and for the boy is um, Anthony, I think I'm going to go for. So they're my two favourite names out of the lot. I have um, also created this little game. I put it on Namebury, so I'll put the link to the forum below in case any of you are on Namebury. If you do like doing name games, Nameberry.com is a great site to join on to because there's a forum full of name games. I love taking part in them. But yeah, my name game was you had to create a... If, imagine you had them 14 children and you had to name them all using the exact initials. Middle names do not have to count. So here's the list I did. Alexandria Grace, Louis Theodore, Amelia Faith, Arthur James, Joseph Alexander, Jessica Louise, River Christopher, Emily Rose, Marie Bell, Lawrence Anthony, Madeline Sophia, Emmanuel Isaac, Melody Jane, and Cecilia Nicholas. So what would you name them if you had 14 kids using them initials? I don't think I could do 14 kids. Mm, I think that would be a bit too much for me. But I will put all the names of the family in the description for you, for you to look at, including their titles. Um, they are the Woodville family, um, and they are, their title is Rivers. The title got created when Jaquetta married. Um, Jaquetta was um, uh, from a main big family in Luxembourg. And she married this famous duke in um, England. And when he died, she married in secret his squire, Sir Richard. So they then created the title for Richard. So that's why they are the Earl of Rivers, because it had to get created because she married so by Benita and to keep her in course because she was an influential figure because of her international relations. But I have also done a collab. So I'm going to do a collab, I've done my part for it, with some girls, I'm, we're going to be doing the, um, I like to add some videos, you know, fan videos of TV shows, I don't do them very often, but I do like doing them, so my, um, we basically, um, are going to do it, and we're picking the three main women from the White Queen TV show, one's doing each one. I am doing a list of Woodville. If you want to go and check out mine, I will put a link and I will put it around about here at the minute. And I will put like a um, thing on it so you can go and check it out. And please do because I love getting feedback. I hope you like this video and please give me feedback. And if you want to request anything, feel free to because I love doing them as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.